So my angels, it's time for your one of your favourites. Pick one, two or three on the tarot. I'm currently shuffling as I speak using my pure tarot cards. Okay. I want you to do it live. I want to attract the energy of everybody that watched this video so that they're given the right advice. Two, please. Thank you. One more. Let's see what you get. Think in your mind, you want one, two or three. Some of you grab two, that's fine. If you feel like you need to grab two, it's absolutely right. May do some clarifies if it doesn't make sense. Okay, ooh, number ones, you are going places. So we've got the Queen of Wands here. She's all about absolutely smashing what she's working towards, all right? Whether it's a personal or professional goal, she's doing everything she can to get there and she's done it. She's sitting there very proud of place in her luxurious, um, in a luxurious throne, showing the, showing the lines that represent Leo, inner strength has given her the resolve to keep going to what she's wanted. She's got this beautiful flower of growth and hope, and she's saying, oh, I've done this, thank you very much. The cat, diligence, magic, has given her the fact that she's sitting there very pretty. She's worked very hard towards getting what she wants to work towards. This could either be you or someone around you that's really helping you at the moment to get what you want to get, get towards. Does that come out right? I don't think so, but it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so this is all good news for you. So whatever it is that's going on in your life at the moment, continue going on. There could be some ups and downs connected here. Let's have a look what area we're mainly going to be connecting with there. But go with your intuition is what I'm being told. And, and literally keep going towards those dreams. It's coming. If there is, I keep feeling though with this card, you know, they change every single time. I keep feeling there is someone that's definitely got your back or someone's trying to give you advice. And I would say, <laughs> yes. I would say go with it because you're going to so make it. We've got the Justice card, sign of Libra here. So this could even be that you're going through a divorce. It could be that you're going through a breakup. It could be that you're going to a court here and it could be something to do with you just wanting to end this and get what you want out of it. If it is, it's coming. Justice card is always saying that you will win. It will be in your favour. So keep focused. Keep connected with someone that's helping you with doing this because you're going to get what you deserve, okay? Even if it's just something um, like... You know, it doesn't have to be justice in respect of court. It could be just that you are finally going to get what you deserve because you've put so much work into it. So well done, number one. Just give yourself a pat on the back because it's all coming for you. If not, it may already be here. Okay. So now, oh God, what are we going to be doing with you, number twos? Where are you at? Where are you at? We've just got, I, I love this card because it, do you know what it reminds me of? And I've been watching it for the UK people. I've just been watching all the Indiana Jones stuff that's been coming up. And this reminds me of when he's picking the Holy Grail, right? So this is the Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This basically is saying that you need to be making some difficult choices at the moment, number twos. The thing is, you've got to be careful whether you pick the Holy Grail or not. Did you see what happened when he picked up the one that was all gold and sparkly? Yes. And this is completely spot on. And it's a great analogy for what I'm trying to say in these cards, okay? If you pick the shiny, glittery, easy option, you could be swearing it and it could be the death of you. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Okay, so with this card, don't pick your decisions or make choices out of ego or what you think is going to be easier. Okay, look for that wooden goblet. If you've never watched Indiana Jones, right, and I think it's the Crystal Skull one, isn't it? And you're like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Just just Google the Holy Grail scene, right? So you can have like one of these. Look, you've got the serpent. Others, it's like headspace. Is this going to be good for your health? Is it going to be good for what you're going to be doing? Victory, okay? Think very carefully about the choices you've got ahead of you. I'm going to do a little clarify on that so we know where we're going with that as well, darlings, okay? Um, but yeah, choices, choices, choices. I always say... Always go with your gut. The times that I've worked on with my ego and I knew I shouldn't have and it's gone wrong. Sit back, have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee and think, right, what am I going to do in this situation? Which one shall I take? Which way am I going to go forward from here? Okay, do what is for you the greater good and what is going to be more beneficial to you. Don't do the easier option because it's going to come back and bite you on the bum. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, hell no. How did that come out upside down? I don't know. Okay. But basically, if you, if you, and again, it's a cup. So we, so I could be talking to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be one involved in this. Okay. But upside down, this is bad decisions made, losing friendships, losing um, people around you that had your back. 
do not make choices that are easy for you at the cost of other people as well. Okay, be very, very careful. Make the right choices for you and everybody else involved. Don't listen to your ego, listen to your gut. Pull in your solar plexus, have a while, sit there. I do it by, by the water all the time. I normally sit by the sea um, or by my lakes opposite and I just go, okay, is this right? And I just feel it. And you know it's right or wrong, don't you? You just know it. It's like straight, it's like intuition is like, um, people get lost with intuition because they think, oh no, I don't know how to hone in. Yes, you do. Have you ever walked into a house? You go, oh my God, I hate this. Say you're looking for a house, right? You walk in, this could be it. This could even be it. This could be some people looking for a house. You walk in, you go, oh my God, no, I don't like it. And there's nothing wrong with it, but you just know it isn't yours. You just know it isn't right, don't you? You walk into another one and it could be a right dump, but you go, oh my God, I love it. This, this is me. That's your intuition telling you that. And the more that you sit in your own space, the more you'll get divine intervention from angels, spirit world, spirit guides, your loved ones. Seek solace. Seek quietness and solitude. And your mind, the more quieter it is, the more direction you will get and it will be the right term. Number three is what is going on with you? We've got fights, we've got differing opinions, we've got people rowing, we've got people not agreeing with what you agree with, you're trying to fight. It sounds like my old video, didn't it, on Kate Foodie? I'm so sorry about that, but I couldn't help it. A woman's died for Christ's sake. Anyway, moving on. This is all conflict. There's just not, it's not going right at the moment, is it? It's just, why is everything, why is nobody listening to me? Why is everything a fight? It could even be sorting a bill out or it could be just people being a pain in the ass. But there's a lot of conflict going on at the moment, a lot of confusion, a lot of rows, differing opinions, people not listening to you or you're not listening to them. That's what's creating this issue. Let's have a look and get a clarify for you, number three. Let's see what's coming after all of this disarray that seems to be surrounding you or you could be potentially walking into now. If you are thinking of doing an action that's going to really cheese some people off, think carefully, okay? Think carefully about whether you should do it and if it's worth it. If it is in respect of justice or it needs to be done, fair play. If you need to do a confrontation, if you don't, don't. You just don't need the cortisol coursing through your bones, making you feel even more rubbish, okay? Oh, oh my God, see? Oh, I just love these cards. They're so bloody brilliant. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air signs. Here we go, my lovelies. So this is the card of solace, the three of Sorry, three of swords. I'm going bloody mental. Four of swords, okay? So, potentially, there's two games of play coming out for you, number threes. You've either had all this, and you're like, what just happened? And that's telling you to just back away, do what you want to do, listen to meditation music, listen to your favourite music, turn off social media, walk in nature, whatever it is that takes for you to just heal from whatever's happened, do it. You need to take time out now because if you carry on pushing, you're going to go towards a burnout. Or there's two meanings to this card. Seek solace. What have I just said for number two? Seek solace, sit in your own space and really think about how you're going to deal with this to avoid all of this catastrophe. Sit back. Do you really need to step in and get involved? If you don't, don't. Does that make sense? Darlings, it's been an absolute pleasure giving you these readings. I really hope they resonate with you. They are general readings. Pick whatever makes sense to you. I really do hope that you enjoy this. Um, and please let me know in the comments below. If you feel that anybody else would be interested in seeing these readings, please pass them on and share, share, share to Grand Beautiful Tribe. Until the next time, think good things and you will create good things. And those good things will just keep coming back at you. Speak to you soon.